Right, so this is our peacock room. This room has been a massive project because we had to strip off the old plasterboard on the walls. In fact, it wasn't even plasterboard, it was chipboard, um, which is part of the reason why it had got so um, mouldy and rotten. And yeah, we, we basically had to leave the, leave the room for a little while to, for the walls to dry out. Um, and then uh, we completely transformed this room from basically just a bare brick wall um, into what it is now. In this video we'll be running through a little bit more of uh, how we turned this room from what it was before into what it is now. Anyway if you enjoy these videos uh, do click the the like button down below which I think is like a little thumbs up or so click the subscribe button down below and then you'll get notifications when we've got new videos coming up and also um, we try to do we try to sort of schedule in premieres where we can chat and answer questions with um, viewers if they're able to to, to watch it along alongside us um, when we when it first goes up um, anyway I hope you enjoy this video we're, we're super super happy with the finished result um, it, it meets the brief, which was we wanted the room to be really, really dramatic, and I think it absolutely does that. And I hope you like it too. So we ripped some wallpaper off to work. Oh yeah, we'll just paint over it and came across this yeah. very moldy chipboard. So we need to take off the chipboard and see what's behind it. It must have been like an old leak. From, must be from the floor above, so we're going to have to look at that wall as well. So one step forward, two steps back. But anyway, here we go. This is what I do best. Yeah. Oh. That's a nice brick wall. But I think we'll have to put insulation in and then build a face wall once it's all dried up. Right, so it is the week that we're going to be starting filming for Chateau DIY again for the next series. Um, we've basically got a couple of days now to get as much done as possible before the film crew arrive this weekend. Oh, why can't I always pick these sorts of jobs? <laughs> oh, I'm not breaking down. Yeah. Get this one off as well, or we'll leave it until. So the problem is, we just have to get this one done, don't we?
just uh, oh, basically trying to get these metal bits out so we can uh, put the screws in. And uh, yeah, we'll do the bottom one first, then the top, and then we'll put the horizontal ones in. Uh, so yeah, it's the first time we've done this. It's an interesting job. So we're just debating two puzzling questions. One, whether we can get away with using one of these vertical rails that's not long enough, we can just start shunting the two together. And the other is how to get the wall to stick in. I think we just need to do a bit of research. Take it. Um, I think we're going to need longer rails. This wall, um, which should hopefully in uh, next week, the Chateau DIY are coming. Um, but unfortunately, we've had to crack on and make a start with this wall before they come because mm -hmm. we've got the plumber and the electrician coming. So there's going to be a plug socket put in there, and there's going to be a uh, radiator put in there. And so we kind of need to get those bits sorted as soon as possible, really, don't we? We do. So what, how are you finding this? Easy, really easy, really quick. Um, and it's nice to know we're actually adding some insulation behind it or making it better. Yeah. It should massively help because these are only single glazed windows. The only problem I'm finding is like the, um, this stuff is like glass wool. I, just, I, I was using it without a mask before and I was just like coughing all of the time. Um, you my definitely eyes reaching. need gloves as well. Yeah, you definitely need gloves and, and ideally a face mask as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Do you think we should fill these gaps in as well with foam? Because otherwise the, the cold air will just come in yeah, around the sides. That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah. It probably doesn't matter along the top, just around the frame. I'll just try and... So, once all of this is done, we're going to be putting a window foam in like that. All the way around. Yeah. And then uh, we'll put some like nice... Well, we'll probably try and reuse the old window frames. Because um, they're really quite pretty and sort of lots of decorative edges. Uh -huh. Yeah, here they are. Um, so if we can, we'll reuse these bits. Um, but failing that, we will make our own. Or, yeah, either I'll get happy with the router, which I'm going to turn into a router table. Router, sorry, router and the router table. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll make a router table and then I'll be able to kind of make a really nice edge for the skirting board and for, uh, for around the window frames. But 
for the window frames I'm hoping we can just reuse the bits that we've got. <laughs> Right, so this morning I'm going to be finishing off sorting the plasterboarding on this wall. Um, well, I'm not. I'm going to um, do a little bit of touching up and then I'll be coming back to it with Chris later on. So he is working and I fortunately have the day off, which is nice. Uh, means I can make some progress. These are, well, they're not waterproof, but they're, they're hydro board. So I think basically the idea is they're just a little bit more water resistant so they won't kind of swell and deform if they get wet. That's not too bad. Right, once you've got the boards on, you've got to fill the cracks with uh, basically plasterboard, whatever it's called. Oh, what do we call it in the UK? Oh, it's killing me, I can't remember the name. Anyway, yeah, you've got to fill the cracks, then tape it over and then uh, go over it again um, and uh, then sand it down. Apparently it doesn't have to be uh, particularly scientific, which suits me to a T. La Coplitra. I think it's called bonding adhesive. Yeah, let's just rip this off. I can tidy that up later. Get a nicer finish in a bit. Right, that's that one done.
You got the last bit in? Yes. So tired. Was first of all we installed sorry, first of all we installed the kind of the ver the horizontal pieces at the top and the bottom. Um, I got a fancy new laser, which has been really helpful for making sure it's all true and the, the all nicely lined up. And because it was metal rail, and I confess, because we had a ton of plasterboarding screws for wood stud work, we thought we'd not bother getting ones that are specially designed for metal, which they worked, but it was really bloody hard and you had to kind of just really push them in to try and get them to go through the metal. Um, so it was a faff, but we got there in the end and um, we managed to stick all these plasterboards on and then it's just a case of using the, um, the bonding. Basically it's just kind of like plaster filler um, and we've been filling all of the cracks um, and then you tape it over, which I've just done now. And then later on today when that's all dried, we will put another coat of the filler over the top. Um, and then we have to sand it all down to get it really nice. Um, and then it's just a case of um, putting in, of course, the, um, uh, the window ledges and the window surrounds. Um, and then we're pretty much, oh, skirting board. Yeah, skirting board, um, I have grand plans, um, which uh, I'll probably have to wear this after the Chateau DIY show. Um, and I think that's something I'm gonna do on the show, but my plan is to try and build some skirting boards that match the ones that we've got down here, um, which I find are really beautiful, but because obviously they've installed new plasterboard, um, it has meant that they've, it has meant that they've, uh, the wall now sticks out more than the skirting board. Um, anyway, because they've got ugly pipes on the outside, I'm gonna build a new skirting board over the top of that and follow that all around the room, um, including on the wall, which we'll do on the show behind me. Um, and yeah, it should look really good, but, um, yeah, my plan is to use a router table, which I've been working on uh, in a separate project, and I think I'll do a video about that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try and get a really nice router bit that can maybe closely match the skirting board that we've got down here. If not, I'll just come up with one that looks really nice and yeah, because it's pretty much the whole room. So I think it'll be all right if we do something else, but it's just got to be really fabulous and quite a big and bold skirting board. So yeah, we'll see what I can do there.